Oh, wait a minute. Snake beans. It had some potatoes. Oh, well, the chips then. Oh, God. Uh, Richard! What? Richard, have you got a fire extinguisher? No, why? Small oh. coke. Small coke, thanks. Do you know, I discovered a flaw with the American way. You can buy a small coke, and it's like a dollar, or a big one, which is two dollars, because you get more, but you get free refills. So why would you buy a big one unless you were a bit thick? I can't take you seriously in those sunglasses. No, I can't. I had control of the catering. What I'm proposing is this. A bag of crisps each, a sickly sugar-riddled drink, and then a Jeff cake. <laughs> Shaking, I'm so excited. What? All good for you. Oh, yeah. Our Belgium, the mecca for the performance motorists. Yeah. Belgium is home to everything tennis players, mm. chips. It's not the first place you think of going for a performance saloon that car. Is you are going to lose this and you will end up in Sekula. Whatever we At that moment, a challenge arrived. Chips! Oh. Yeah, but don't just grab them, we've got to hand them out, but I've got a job for you. Can you hand out the wipes? Yeah. They'll appreciate it. There you go. Absolutely. While Richard was getting supper, I'd installed another motivational tool to keep everyone's spirits up. Right. Don't be alarmed, I'm not shooting. So, a mark against the marauder there. James, perhaps you'd like to just take a bite? Yes, let me just pull a piece off. Is that a pizza? Tastes like the cardboard box it came in, so it must be a pizza. <laughs> yeah. Right, so those are the pizzas, OK? If you'd like to attach those to Hammond, that would be tremendous. To his face? Um, <laughs> his vegetables. OK. Oh, really? Come on! Oh, oh. no! <laughs> That's ambitious, mate. That's by my knees. <laughs> Now I'm going to fire up the blowtorch. There we oh, go. Oh, God, come on, no, this is ridiculous. <laughs> James, how hot is the tip of this flame? Probably best part of 800 degrees C. Enough to melt aluminium. Enough to melt aluminium. Looks like this is a real blowtorch. Look, I can demonstrate it. Fire on there, you can actually see it burning the table nicely. Oh, yes? Oh. This is a real, well, two layers of pizza and a real Richard Hammond. <laughs> Everybody ready? Wouldn't do it to him. <laughs> oh, yes, I would. <laughs> oh, no! Oh! Jeremy, that's quite a long time, isn't it? Not really. Stop it! I can smell burning sausage. Is that allowed? <laughs> can you see? Pizza. Pop it on your car. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Hammond is still here. The pizza delivery boys, the people who could speak to you, every one of them was with the Ford. Oh, c'est magnifique. Every single one was making a beeline for the Ford. Rubbish! But what it can't do, Hammond, is transport a large amount of fish. Exactly what I was thinking. If I wanted a pizza delivery, this is the sort of thing, a motorcycle. I thought about this. Let me explain my idea. When you're at home and you order a takeout pizza, do yeah. they use the train? No, no they use a moped or a car. They're yeah, hamstrung by tradition, they aren't are. they? Been 120, using, yeah. oh, 120 years, we always use the train, we always use the train. They've not thought, and I think this is where we can help. Then it will be remembered that the day the Dabble Waller system was updated, it was in a British car, exactly. three British cars. This is the hardest decision I've ever had to make between cars, ever. It's like the M3 is the best of where we've come from, and the i8 is where we're going. There must have been a moment in history when everybody had typewriters, and typewriters had been around hundreds of years and they were brilliant, and then somebody came along with a laptop. That is what's going on there. Now, Whitby, of course, is famous all around the world 
for its unbelievable fish and chips. With scraps. <laughs> what? Fish and chips with scraps. You get scraps. There's little bits of batter that stay in the bottom of the fryer. Yeah. Scraps. Do you well, want scraps bits, with that? Fish and chips with bits. No, it's scraps. <laughs> it is bits. So that's 230. It's Donald Trump. I'm absolutely starving. Yeah, oh, God, yeah. oh, that's handy. That'll do. Having paid our respects to communism, we got back on the road in our fire-damaged cars with James still moaning about his temperature issues. Funny, I don't generally go for pizzas, but sometimes... Oh, hello. You made it. Well... Would you like some pizza? Yes. Did you get the ice off? Yeah, mostly. I bet it was fun. That was a proper challenge. What did you do? Flamethrower. We guessed Chisel. Fire. I hope you enjoy your pizza. Shall we call a truce on silly ice-related pranks? No. Something else that America popularised. A pizza. But you, I still say you can have pineapple on it. You can't. With ham. No, you can't. Sloppy Giuseppe, that's no, what you have ham. to have. No, oh, no God, I've just pineapple. I've just remembered something. You know my mate John? Everyone calls him Tramp. He's invited us for a perfectly straightforward shooting weekend. When? Well, we've got to be there in 37 minutes. What? Pizza Express to Tramps in 37 minutes? That's not possible. Or is it?